Oh, there we go. I'm going to be, uh, I am a resource for students, and I have a lot of students over their time in Blue Ridge that will contact me and ask me about things like opportunities. Um, for, I'll give you an example. Last year, we had somebody who came in as a freshman student into the program, was uh, in Greene County, and said, hey, Mr. Carraway, I'd love to do something with Model UN. And uh, so when they did that, when they said that, I said, well, I don't know much about it, but let's find out. Well, we got a group together, and we ended up taking 20 people to a Model UN conference in the springtime, which was just a fantastic experience. And I think that's gonna be something we're gonna be doing more often. So I get a lot of those kind of correspondences. I also get correspondences from students like our seniors who are doing projects where they can do anything, anything, anything that they uh, are interested in studying. But a lot of times they don't really know how to go about that. So they'll contact me and ask questions and I might know somebody uh, uh, that somebody previously has worked with or somebody that I have a connection with and I can put them in touch. So that's a lot of what my role is. I also support students if you're struggling academically. Uh, we work a lot to support you there. So, uh, you know, one thing that you always have, if you're not sure about, I'm not sure how this is working out, I'm not sure about how to approach this because this program is going to be very different in a lot of ways than other things that you've done in school. Uh, that's a part of my role as well. So that's me. Um, we also have Mrs. Outen, who's back here uh, with the computer. She has two computers and a camera because she is the queen of technology. So. As a virtual school, she's going to talk to you a little bit about what that means and how it's going to work. You guys have in your folders some information about your accounts. You will have Blue Ridge accounts that you'll need to use while you're in the program. And a big part of that's going to be um, a lot of the things that we do. You're going to be connecting with students from other schools or connecting with teachers, things like that through our technology. So Ms. Outen is like a person you really need to know because she will help you both to figure out how to do that. And then when you have problems, she can help you solve those problems. So Mr. Reynolds is our online learning coordinator. He is not here today. He is in Hawaii. So we are all jealous of Mr. Reynolds being in Hawaii. Um, but we will hear from him uh, via video a little bit later today. You'll get an introduction to Mr. Reynolds. Um, mostly our online courses are in 11th and 12th grade for the most part. So you, he really is involved with 11th and 12th graders, but he also does a lot of work with 9th and 10th graders on some of the online learning activities that we do. So you'll see him around for that stuff. And then we have Ms. Bonovich, who is in the back corner here, who does basically everything else. And the most important thing that Ms. Bonovich does is she feeds you. I noticed when the pictures of pizza came up on the screen, all of a sudden a little drool started coming out of the corners of some people's mouths and they got real excited and the pupils started dilating. That's what Ms. Bonovich does, among many other things. One thing I will say about this is once you get going with your Blue Ridge accounts, if you see emails from any of these four people, myself, Ms. Outen, Mr. Reynolds, or Ms. Bonovich, check those emails. We don't send you spam. Mr. Reynolds sends out a kind of every week what's going on in Blue Ridge. You may think of that as spam, but it's actually kind of a fun email because he tells you what, uh, what's going on and tells some jokes and stuff. But other than that, we will only email you when there's really important stuff going on, opportunities that you might have. I mean, one, one of the things that will happen is I'll have students that will come to me and say, well, I didn't know that we were going on, that there was going to be a Model UN trip. And I'll say, look in your email. You've had three emails from me on this, and you haven't opened any of them. So, you know, it's really critical. It's one of the things that you'll, you'll kind of learn as a Blue Ridge student. We'll kind of get into that a little bit. Other introductions. We have teachers here with us today. From Louisa County, our lead teacher for world history, Ms. Stacy Carr. Hey, come on. These people are going to be grading you this year. You want to, let's try it again. Ms. Carr. There we go. All right. From Fluvanna County, Mr. Luke Devine. Yeah, yeah, come on, Flucos. And from Goochland, Mr. Brett DeRico. Mr. DeRico also works with the seniors at Goochland, so you may see him twice. So uh, that's, that's a very good possibility. So again, welcome. A couple of little uh, logistic things. So we've got a lot going on today. We are going to be moving around a bit. We'll be taking some breaks. You are not going to be sitting in these chairs just listening to me yammer on all day. Uh, but uh, at any point today, this is not a classroom, but I will, it's not a classroom, but I will ask that people not talk while the adults are talking today. So I'd appreciate that. So at any time, the restrooms, if you need those, are right across the hall here. Uh, ladies on the left, uh, gentlemen on the right, you can just get up quietly and slip out the back door and go to the restroom if you need to do that at any point. You don't have to raise your hand. We're not going to write you a pass. That's kind of how it works when we're here. So you got that going on. We also have some water in the back. Uh, for now, we'll have uh, drinks and sodas and stuff for you a little bit later on. But uh, for, for right now, uh, you know, if you need some water if you're, you know, uh, for the morning, you can go back and grab some from those back there. 
Other thing, cell phones, and I'm going to do this right now. I'm taking mine out because I just heard it go off, and that is I'm putting my, I'm turning my cell phone ringer off and putting my cell phone away, and I am going to ask that everybody do that for the time being. You're going to need these in a few minutes. You don't have to turn them off. Just turn the ringers off, but uh, here's what I really, and this is, this is uh, any event that you come to Blue Ridge, there'll be a lot of times when we're together in a group like this and we're working on some really serious stuff. We might have a college professor coming in to talk to us about a project going on, something like that. Um, what we are, do not want to see is somebody back there going like this while we've brought in a college professor all the way from Virginia Tech. So I'm very serious about that, and I have been known to end the day with a collection of cell phones uh, you know, for people that didn't quite understand how serious I am about that. So there will be a point today uh, that you'll be, again, you will be actually using them for something productive. And then also at lunch, you know, when we're on breaks or at lunch, you're welcome to pull those out and check on those because I know that, uh, that you, your, your brains really want to see the, what's going on with everybody else in your world. So. What's gonna to happen today? A Couple of things. First of all, we're gonna be moving around a little bit. We're gonna be uh, doing some activities where you're going to both get to know some of your fellow Blue Ridgians and where you're gonna be able to, uh, yeah, we haven't figured out a really good term for it yet. Now, if you guys think of something better, uh, let me know. Um, so uh, we'll be doing some of that. Um, we're gonna be doing, oh, important, we'll be eating. That's always good. We do a lot of that in Blue Ridge over the years. Uh, as a matter of fact, it becomes kind of one of the, the regular pieces of what we do. And I, we'll also be working in teams to solve some things. So this is a lot of what we do in Blue Ridge. We work on a lot of uh, particular skill bases and things like that. So we're going to get into this a little bit. Be, uh, just out of curiosity, before I get start getting into describing what the program is about, how many of you have older brothers or sisters that are in the program? OK, that's a pretty good number. How many of you know somebody pretty well who's in the program? OK, so that's a pretty good number. So you probably know a little bit about this. They may have uh, you know, scared you to death with some of the things that they've talked to you about. And uh, what we're part, part of what we're trying to do today is put your mind at ease, because while this will be a challenging program in many ways, it is also one that you have a lot of support in. And if you do it well, which uh, our, our students generally do, um, then you will have a lot of opportunities, both while you're in high school and after high school. And I'll talk a little bit about that. So today, first thing we're going to do, we're going to have a little test today. But this is a different kind of test. Like, you know, you don't need to know anything uh, for this test necessarily. You just need to be able to think about stuff. That's a, that, which is a hallmark of a lot of what we do. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to just very quickly and informally just kind of group up with about two or three people. If it, you end up in a group of four, that's fine. This, you're just going to be uh, having a, a conversation for about two or three minutes. So somebody close to you would be good. If you feel the need to move, you could do that. All right. One of those people in your group needs to have a cell phone with texting capacity. So go ahead and group up. Find out who's going to have the cell phone. And the person with that cell phone needs to go ahead and get that out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Attention, s'il vous plaît. So, Ms. Bonovich, whose job many times is to remind me to do things that I've forgotten to do has asked me to do two things. One, to make sure that everybody has a folder today and everybody has a name tag. And I see many of you do not, you need to have these name tags on. Non-negotiable for today. So name tags, they're in your folders. Please, do you not have one? Okay, check in with Ms. If you don't have one, check in with Ms. Bonovich here. Okay, and finally, finally, these things will need to be returned at the end of the day because you will be using these again in the future. And while we would like to trust you to keep them and not lose them, uh, what we found is we do a better job of keeping them and not losing them across the board. So, so having done this, so now the person with the cell phone in your group, you need to do two things. You need to text to this number, 37607. And what you need to text to that number is my name all together with 554. It does not have to be in all caps, by the way. So 
M A R C C A R R A W A Y. Five five four. Mark Caraway. What's it saying? There's not no no spaces on that, please. The number you're texting to is three seven six zero seven. Are you getting a response? Yeah. This said you've joined. What does it say? Yep, good. You've joined Mark. Should tell you that you've joined Mark's here. We're going to come back to that in a second. Once you've accomplished that, here's what I want you to do. Don't do anything with your phones for the moment. What you're going to do is you're going to talk about what a school is. And by this, I mean, so we're, you're about to start with Blue Ridge Virtual Governor School. We are a very different school, but we are a school. And one of the things that's different about us is we don't have a schoolhouse. This is the closest thing to a schoolhouse we have. Our office is across the hallway. We're the only public school program I know of in Virginia that's based out of, a, out of a hotel. So the reason for that is our program is based out of your local schools. So we don't have an actual school. We don't have a school building. We don't have a parking lot. We don't have lots of big fleet of big yellow buses, and we don't have a football team. But what makes us a school? So your job, and this is what you're going to do with your group. Don't do anything with your phone yet. I'll tell you what to do, but I'm going to give you about two minutes to talk about this and come up with a short, clear definition. What is a school, but you cannot use the word place or any synonyms like location, okay? So talk with your group. Don't do anything with your phone. Just what is a school? Come up with that definition. Somebody maybe write that down or just keep track of it. What is a school when it's not a place? What's that? No, I mean, what is that? Like, Keyword mark care. Hey, you didn't get. Yeah, you didn't. So just tap, try typing it again. So it's M A R C C A R R A Y. No, oh, I'm saying I'm sorry. A W. So you go back. A W A Y five five four. I need. Let's see what happens there. You've joined it. There you go. Perfect. Okay. As you're continuing to discuss this, back up here for a sec. So now you're going to text that answer in. Hang on a sec. Let me. Open, I don't think it's open yet. Let me open this up. All right. So what is a school without using the word place? Is that happening? Okay. Oops. Yeah. My. Um. Okay, how's my All right, I got one learning environment so far. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's my, oh, that's what I was looking for. Go on. Okay. All right, here's where we're starting to come in. A group of educators, a learning environment, an organization. I'm liking this. Okay, keep them coming. 
or why I'm not showing all here. Okay. Learning program. Okay. Keep them coming. Nice. All right, a learning environment, people that share information, a lot of people, learning environment, a productive environment where you learn fundamental skills, educational organization. One of the things we're gonna do is turn this into a word cloud and we'll see what the most, uh, what the biggest things are here. So this is what you guys, as you're typing this in, these are the, the terms that are coming up. Learning, obviously at the middle of this, so we're school. We are all about learning. Um, people, I like this. So we don't have a place, but what we've got is people. So you've heard the introductions. We've got uh, the Blue Ridge core staff. You've got your local teachers. You've got other people that work with the program. I like environment because environment kind of, uh, you, you, that's a good way to avoid the word place, but we actually create an environment wherever we go. So sometimes you're learning here. Sometimes you're learning at UVA. Sometimes you're learning in Washington, DC. Kind of depends on what's going on. Um, Organization comes up a lot. Sometimes we're organized, sometimes not so much. Teacher teaching, knowledge, necessary, opportunity, I like that. Community, that, uh, coming back to community, one of the purposes, so to go back a little bit about what a governor's school is, because I didn't really talk about that, but the governor's schools are, were created by the state of Virginia to create learning communities where students from different schools get together and work together uh, to learn and solve problems and do things like that. And the reason they do that is, think about all of you come from one high school counties. I've taught in some of your counties and worked in some of your counties. Uh, many of you have known each other since you were like really, really small, right? So many of you have been in school together for many years. So one of the things that uh, kind of creates a productive learning environment is working sometimes with people who have different experiences or different knowledges. So good answers on this. So back to our uh, back to our thing. So here's the other question for you, and we're going to text this in just a second. But I want you guys to come up with it with an answer for your group. But I wanted two things. First of all, raise your hand if you joined BRVGS because it looks good on a college application. Okay. <laughs> raise your hand if you joined BRVGS because your mother made you do it. Okay. All right. So those are two of the most popular answers. You can't use those two answers. So as a group, as a group, decide why you joined BRVGS, and then you're going to, uh, to answer that question as soon as you come up with it. You'll be doing the same thing. There one, yes, yeah, I should have explained that. A good question, guys. Um. All right, better prepare myself for college. Let's see, we'll get the other rock and rolling up here. All right. Pardon? Yeah, yeah. Challenge ourselves, grow as individuals and students, meet new people, opens up new and better opportunities. Good learning experience plus pizza. You know, you know, some people are really into pizza. Let's see. Well, you, you know, they're not mutually exclusive. That's a good thing. 
Oh, we got some more here. What do we got? We got bum, 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 bum. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Governor School, more competitive opportunities. This is a competition, is it? Okay, I like it. I don't know. Uh, more opportunities, more challenges. Challenge ourselves academically. Give us a better chance of succeeding in college and our future. Enjoy fulfilling opportunities. I was looking for an opportunity to expand my knowledge on certain things. Meeting people from other schools. Opportunity to challenge myself, student. Further, so I'm hearing a lot of similar words. Let's see what the word cloud says. And just to uh, clarify, when you, when the word cloud pops up, the biggest words are the ones that are the most often used. So, opportunities. I like the fact that opportunities are there. That's a big part of our role to provide you guys with. Hey guys, I know I know it's fun to watch. Pizza's coming up there, probably pretty big. I know, but the, one of the big things is besides providing pizza, which we like. Um, is opportunities you know i mentioned the thing about model you and we have courses we've expanded our courses we continue to do that we will have more courses available for you uh, when you uh, particularly as you progress through the program uh, for you to choose from than any other students will uh, will have had in the in the uh, history of the program challenge this is a good one we're going to talk a little bit about what does that mean because you guys are entering high school this is an entirely different environment um, you probably have taken, I know you've taken some advanced math courses, uh, some of the other courses, some of the other courses, maybe not so much. Um, you're going to find yourself in a increasingly demanding academic environment. And that can be really good challenges. It's like, uh, how many of you guys play sports just out of curiosity? Okay. How many of you guys are in band? Okay. So sports band, anything you do like that, uh, drama, you know, you're, tra you're challenging yourself. You're going outside your comfort zone. When you do something that's outside your comfort zone and you are successful at it, you feel really good about it. So challenges create success. So um, there a lot of still a lot about college, and I, I was happy to see. So I said, you know, I asked about does it look good on a college application? Here's the secret about things that look good on college applications. Colleges, the college admissions people are not dumb people. They're at colleges like all day. So when they see something on an application, they say, oh, this looks good. It's because they know what's behind it. So for example, if you've participated in a sport or band for your entire time in high school, that tells them that one, you are, have the ability to stick with something that can be a demanding, um, that could be a, a demanding thing that you've done on your own and voluntarily. It also tells them that you can manage your time because you wouldn't be able to do those sports if you weren't, or the or band or drama or whatever, if you or or robotics, whatever it happens to be, you wouldn't be able to do those if you weren't uh, good at managing your time. So those are things that colleges can look at and say that gives us a sense that this person's going to have a chance for success. One of the things for us, I mean, we send out when you apply as a Blue Ridge student, when you apply to colleges, you actually get a a, an, a sheet that gives information on our program and the th different things that. Um, that you've had the opportunity to do as Blue Ridge students. And so that tells them that you have extended your uh, learning beyond what was a local that you're off offered at your local schools, but it also tells them that you are able to meet those challenges. So the other thing for us is we want to prepare you for those challenges. That's a huge part of what we're going to be doing. So getting you into good colleges, that's a great thing. We have great college success. I mean, and so we've had students go to Ivy League schools. We have students go to the uh, uh, to the military academies. We have students go to, uh, you know, most of our students go to Tech, UVA, William and Mary, JMU. You know, uh, we have lots and lots of college success stories. Lots of, uh, as I mentioned, full scholarships and things like that. That's that's a great thing, and we're always happy about that. But it means nothing if you're not ready for it. When you walk out of high school and into a college environment, you're going to find this coming from middle school to high school to somewhat. Take that and multiply it by about 20 is what's going to be the difference between going from high school to college. And I don't mean that to scare you. It's a good thing. College is fun, rewarding, challenging, all of these things. But you've got to be ready. So we'll talk a little bit about that, um, you know, what that, what that means and what it is that we're looking for and looking to help you guys accomplish. So come back to this, Beck. So I want to share something with you because this is a part of what we're about as well. And this is when you're in Blue Ridge, you're going to, you know, a lot of people use the word opportunities and the opportunities are going to be 
one of the opportunities is for you to find out about yourself in terms of what are your skills, what are your interests, and how might that drive your, your decisions in the future. So this is just a, a quick video that kind of addresses that a little bit that I think describes a little bit about what we're trying to do in Blue Ridge. Yeah, as soon as it loads, as soon as it loads. Maybe a second here. Let's try that again. Okay. It was a video. Hello. Is that my idea why I'm not able to uh, access this video? Sounds the technology person. That's 5G, you think, or? Yeah, it, it worked. It, yeah, I refreshed. There it goes. Yeah. Just, just by standing close to technology, Miss Alton can fix things. That's how good she is. She can kind of fix things. Switch networks, you think? It worked before. I think you guys are hogging up all the electrons. I'll just try this real quick. That's what I'm doing. There we go. That's it. Okay, here are two questions that can change your career, your business, maybe even your life. The first comes from Claire Booth Luce, one of the first women to serve in the U.S. Congress. One day in the early 1960s, she went to visit President Kennedy, and she told him this, a great man is a sinner. Abraham Lincoln said it was he preserved the union and freed the slaves. Franklin Roosevelt said it was he lifted us out of a great depression and helped us win a world war. Most worried that Kennedy was trying to do too many things, and that is said that's risk you're not going to want to compare it. If you really want to find your true motivation, ask yourself that question. What's my sentence? You don't have to be president of anything because of help. Maybe your sentence is, she invented a device that made people's lives easier. Maybe it's, she taught two generations of kids how to read. Think about your sentence. Then use it to navigate your life. But to make your sentence really come alive and to create motivation that lasts, you need a second question. So each night, before you go to sleep, ask yourself, was I better today than yesterday? Keep asking that question. Because that's how we really prove day by day, step by step, over and over for a very long time. It's tough, but it's the only way. Combine these two questions and motivation at work, in business, and the rest of your life. Take care of yourself. Drive. The surprising truth about what motivates us. So that sounds really, really simple, right? I mean, say, oh, okay, just what's my sentence? But here's the deal. I mean, part of this and part of your experience in this program and in high school is going to be to find out, again, what are you good at? What are you interested in? Um, what do you, where do you want to be with your life? And there's a lot of ways in which this program, I mean, that, that's what we're here to do. So just one second, because I think my, do this again. Pump, pump, pump. So I'm going to show you just these are this. These are some examples, I think, of what Blue Ridge can help you do as a student. And these are four students that are graduates of Blue Ridge. Sam Young graduated from Madison County High School and Blue Ridge. He is currently working in microbiology uh, at UVA, uh, working to help cure cancer. I mean, that's his that's his thing. That's his passion. He did that as his senior project. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it because that he started doing this. He started because he took the uh, AP biology class and got really interested in microbiology at that point. And then by the senior year, uh, did a project related to this. And now this is his career. He's working on his PhD, his doctorate uh, at the University of Virginia to do this.
uh, and actually his sister is, uh, uh, is a freshman in the program from Madison. She'll be at the, the uh, orientation next week. Um, the guy, uh, Mr. Reynolds, who I mentioned, the mystery, uh, Mr. Reynolds, that's him on the right, me on the left, and the guy in the middle is a uh, guy named Chris Wood. And Chris is a graduate from Nelson County High School um, in Blue Ridge. This picture was taken in Shanghai, China, and we met with Chris there. He's working for a Chinese company. He's doing computer programming for a Chinese company in Shanghai. He loves living in China. Um, the only computer programming that Chris, uh, course that he had ever taken before he got there was his 11th grade online computer programming course through Blue Ridge. Mr. Reynolds was his teacher. So we were really excited to talk to him. And now he's doing computer programming and leading up uh, this stuff for in China for a multinational course. Um, on the left, Newland Humphrey just graduated this past year. She's uh, from uh, Fluvanna County High School. Some of you guys might know uh, Newland, real involved with FFA. She just notified me last week that she was uh, appointed as uh, the secretary for the Virginia State FFA, 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 which means that she will defer her college for a year. She'll be able to travel with the FFA. Um, she'll be able to do a lot of different kind of activities. She's got a real passion for agriculture, horses, uh, that kind of stuff. So uh, this is a great pathway for her. Uh, and she did her project, her senior project on uh, on agricultural education. And Brooke Bogger uh, graduated from Green County, High, uh, from William Monroe High School several years ago. Brooke uh, was really interested in, she took the uh, UVA engineering class that we offered uh, that you guys will have an opportunity to take. Uh, she is now a graduate research fellow, as it says, in the for the National Science Foundation. She's going to Africa, working on figuring out engineering solutions to problems that African villages and African communities have. So she's been there several times. This is her passion. This is what she wants to do. She started this, I mentioned, she took the engineering course. She did engineering as part of her, uh, uh, part of her senior project. These are the kind of things that you can do in this program. And this is the kind of outcomes that you can get. This, these are not unusual stories for our graduates. So we, I share these not to say, you know, if you guys are just starting ninth grade, you're going, oh, I don't know, this is a long way away before I'm going to be at that point. But these guys were all ninth graders. They were exactly where you are just a few years ago, trying to figure out what this was going to look like. And they, they found passion through some of the things that they were able to experience in this program and beyond. So that's what we're here to help you do. So one of the other things that we are here to help you do is to help you, and this is going to be our last little uh, processing question here. We're going to help prepare you with the skills. I mentioned you're going to get to college. You're going to walk in. Just imagine how many of you guys think you might want to play a sport in college. Just we've actually had quite a few students out of this. Uh, yeah, we've had uh, quite a few students that have uh, come out of this program that have gone to uh, Division One, Division Two, and Division Three schools to play sports. So here's the deal: if you want to play sports in college, you need to be practicing for it now, right? You can't like. I mean, I had a student one time tell me it was like a. Uh, he was an 11th grader. I said, "What's your future plans?" He said, "I want to play in the NBA." He wasn't on the basketball team. I said, how's that going to work? I'm serious. He wasn't. He said, well, I play a lot at the playground. I said, it doesn't work that way. You needed to be out there four years ago, play AAU ball and summer ball so that people can see you. You need to get into a Division I college. You need to be playing not just because it's the place to be seen, not because it looks good on a college application, but that's where you get the skills. So when you guys are working in this program, one of the main things we'll be doing, you'll be taking history this year, you'll be taking AP biology the following year, and then you have a pretty wide range of courses that you can take in 11th grade and uh, 12th grade, uh, along with a senior internship. But one of the things that you will be doing consistently throughout is you're gonna be working on things that we know are to be critical skills for your ability to be successful in college and beyond. So my question for you, and this is with your group, and this will be your last little, uh, uh, text process thing is come up with what do you think are three of the most important skills or character traits that somebody would need for success in college and beyond? And while you're talking, I'll go ahead and open the, uh, the poll for that. Mm. Termination, optimism, commitment. I'm going to just leave this up as, a, as the word wall now. Sir, 
Apparently. Mm-hmm. Management skills, work time, communication, leadership, patience. I like patience and patience. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Not spell check will sometimes just take turn one into the other. So. Wow. All right, this is a great list. This is a great list. I want to talk about a couple of these things because we're going to get into this in just a sec. And then we'll give you guys a little break before we get into some of our other activities. But uh, so determination, apparently that's a big one. Now, is determination a skill or is it a personal trait, character trait? Determination can be a learned skill. It can be a learned skill. Think about it in terms of, like, in the context of us of a sport in soccer. What do you do when you know when something goes wrong? What's your you know what what do you know about where to go? Mr. Reynolds has a great saying on his email that says, uh, um, "Know what to do when you don't know what to do," and that can be that's part of determination. But it also is a character trait. It's one of the most critical character traits. We can't really make you determined, but what we can do is help show you and create possibilities for how you will develop and uh, make the best use of your determination. A few of the other things that really uh, are hitting me here, um, management was popping up. Time management, you guys know, I mean, that's gonna be a big one. When you get it, as you progress through high school and you progress through college, the demands are heavier, you're doing other things, you're gonna be really involved, sports, band, drama, whatever, uh, robotics, all of those things. How do you manage all of that? And what, one of the things that we find, interestingly enough, about 70, 75% of our students are involved with at least one activity or more is that those students tend to be better at time management because they have to be. Um, persistence, that goes along with the determination. A um, couple of things that we really work on here, communication, that's critical. The ability to communicate with the adults around you, the ability to communicate well and productively with other students. Um, Time management, uh, integrity and honesty were both uh, here. That is absolutely critical. One of the things when we get together for our, our kickoff uh, uh, meeting, which will kick off our first project, I'll talk to a, a little bit more in depth about our, our, our expectations, but we have a, an honor code. We are dead serious about that honor code because I will likely be writing many of your college uh, recommendations. I want to be able to say that you've been an honest student throughout this this time in, in your pro, in the program. And if you're not, it could it cause you to lose your, your slot here. But we don't want you to be honest just because you're afraid you're going to lose your slot. You're going to have a lot of temptations over the years because you're going to have a lot of uh, challenging work. And there will be other people maybe who've done that work already that you could just borrow. It's not a good idea. It can keep you from getting in the college of your choice. If you do it when you're in college, it's see ya. You do that at UVA, you, you take copy and paste something into your paper, boom, you're gone. Just like that. We don't care if you paid $40,000 in tuition or whatever. Um, so certainly those are things. Uh, ethics kind of goes along with that. Workmanship, attitude, perseverance. There's a few things. Let's see. I'm not, I'm not really seeing. I mean, communication is good, but there's a couple other things that we're going to talk about. Teamwork is huge. The ability to solve problems as a team. That is one of the most critical life skills that you can have. So we do a lot of team project in this uh, program. And some people will go, I don't like working in teams. Well, you know what? That's going to be your life is going to be working in teams, whatever that context is. So knowing how to do that can really help. We've had a lot of students who've gone off to college, came back and say, wow, uh, none of my classmates really learned how to do that. So when I get to a, a team project, the first thing I do is, set up a contract like we used to do in Blue Ridge and do this. And it makes it so much smoother and so much more productive. We do so much better. So those are some of the skills that we're going to help you with. So how is it going to happen? This is the last part of kind of this uh, Mr. Caraway show here, and then we'll get into some other stuff. But uh, 
How is that going to happen? A couple things. First of all, I, I want to just reference this for a second. I'll give you a second to read this. This is three emails that I've received over, actually just over the last year, uh, from three of our graduates. So what skills do you see coming through these emails that maybe didn't show up? Yes. Time, time management is on there, but. Absolutely. You go, to, go off to college, you likely will only know two or three people at most from your school who go to the same college. Connecting with people is huge. What else? What are other skills that you see here that didn't show up on that list? Anybody? Mm. Yes. Uh, helps with an increased workload. Yeah, I mean, basically, the quality, it says both the, uh, the uh, increase in workload and the increased quality of work, because your professors in college will expect you to do. We have that, one of the things you have the opportunity, you'll have opportunities through your local schools, but all through, also through us. We have four courses from the University of Virginia. You, you'll have opportunities to take college courses through your local schools, usually through the community colleges, but, uh, you know, you can add some of that rigor and preparation by taking courses like that. How about... Uh, Research and writing. Uh, you see uh, the research, uh, formulate research questions and knowing how to write research papers. That's a lot of what you do in college. Um, and so one of the things you see, like Lauren from Goochland talking about, it made it easier for me. I walked in having the skills. I've had that practice. This last one from Kathleen, she's graduated quite a while ago, but Kathleen was able to work as a senior. She was able to work with the UVA astronomers on tracking a satellite. This was a real deal thing. They had to to plot the, the path of the satellite so that when it passed by Jupiter, it would be on the right track. And so she wrote me back to say, hey, you know that thing that I worked on however many years? I mean, this was like, you know, 11 years ago that she worked on this, but now she's getting to see the fruits of all the things that she did. So these are some of the things, again, what we try to do is, as far as Blue Ridge. So you're gonna experience some challenges. You guys have talked about this. Challenges are gonna be, challenges does not mean more work, like dig longer, deeper ditches. What it means is things like coming up against problems that maybe you're not quite sure how to solve right off the top, you know, right, right off the bat. It doesn't come super easy or naturally on some of this stuff, but how do I get through that? One of the things I mentioned, you're gonna be part of a community of learners. You're gonna work with students from your school and other schools uh, to on many of these projects and, and things that we're doing. We have a lot of fun. We try to have a lot of fun. Some of the slides that you guys saw uh, we're from a trip that we just got back a couple of weeks ago down to South America. We go to DC, you know, we eat pizza. We do, you know, we do lots of different kinds of activities. We go canoeing, you know, there's lots of things that we do in this program that uh, we want you to enjoy learning as well as uh, be challenged by it. Um, we do, we do some travel. So we're trying to have, right now we've started uh, where we're trying to have a trip every couple of years, an international trip. So uh, upper right, that's a group of students standing on the Great Wall of China. Uh, a couple of years ago that uh, Mr. Reynolds and I took a, a group. Uh, this one and that one for, from our trip a couple of weeks ago, we went to uh, Ecuador and then to the uh, Galapagos Islands. And then of course we go to places like DC and we're looking for other tra uh, travel opportunities as well. I mentioned you're gonna do projects. Basically every semester you're in this program, you'll have some form of project, um, usually a group project. It will have uh, some form of presentation that you'll do. Uh, there's all, all different kinds of activities. Um, of course, you know you'll take challenging courses. This year is going to be World History One and Two. Uh, there's a lot of extra pieces to this that other students in those classes will not, uh, that are not in Blue Ridge classes, will not get. That will help you prepare for like AP and uh, other courses. You'll do a lot of teamwork. This is a group of students researching at the University of Virginia for one of the projects that we do. We uh, try to get uh, as much uh, kind of college context for some of these projects as possible. And ultimately, you're gonna graduate with some fantastic skills. So this is our seniors from last year. At the end of the senior year, there's a big what we call expo where they take their projects, all of which were completely different. Everybody had an individual project and they share all the results of their projects uh, um, at this expo. And you can see, this is an, actually a really enjoyable event that our students are really proud of what they've accomplished. They get to share it with the community and with, the, with people who come in and evaluate them. So it's a, it's a neat event. And these guys, I mean, these are the ones that I will hear from this year 
guaranteed I will get probably 10 emails uh, from students out of this class, if not more, people saying, I'm so glad I did this kind of, I did, so glad I did my project. I'm so glad I prepared by learning how to do presentations and things like that. So a couple of last things for you to know, and I'll go, you'll hear this consistently, but some things to know about us. We have some expectations as a school. One of the expectations is that everybody will be academic and professional. And by that we mean, uh, you know, when you're writing an email, for example, we expect it, it's not like you're writing to a friend. When you write to Miss Alton because you're having a, a computer problem or you write to me because you want to know about an opportunity, we expect that to look like it would be in a college setting or, or a business setting. Mr. Caraway, comma, blah, 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 I was thinking about doing this. Thank you so much and sign your name, that kind of stuff. Uh, we expect that your behavior on these kind of outings will be academic and professional. And we get very good results out of that. We see students uh, understanding that. Um, I mentioned the honor code. We're serious about that. We'll talk to you more about that later. Uh, we expect you to make some effort in this program. A lot of students hit this, and they ha I will tell you, you will experience some challenges that you've not experienced in school before. And the real question for you, persistence and determination were two of your top skills or traits listed there. The real question for you is how are you going to deal with that? How are you going to deal with it if you get, if you've never gotten a C on a test or a paper and you get, it comes back, I see, you know, and knowing how you're going to deal with it, thinking ahead of it. And we help with that. We can really help you with that. And we can really help students work through those things. But we expect that you're going to, we can't do it for you. So we're going to expect that you're going to do it. We're going to expect that you're going to communicate. And we'll talk a little bit about that. We're going to take about a five-minute stand-up break. And when we do, we're going to come back. Ms. Alton's going to talk a little bit about this last question, what makes Blue Ridge virtual? So go ahead and, like I say, just stand up, kind of move around, shake out for just a couple minutes. You'll hear me announce when we're about ready to, to sit back down. Turn it off. While Ms. Alton is coming up, there's something that I forgot to do that I always do, and I need to do this. 
And that is, I'm going to ask everybody to smile. Welcome to Blue Ridge. I meant to do this at the beginning. All right, everybody smile, look towards the camera. I'm going to use this to torture you when you're seniors. And you're going to say, and you're going to say, because it happens every year, did we really look like that? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Oh, hang on, one more. Sorry. Yeah, somebody close their eyes on the last one. Hang on a sec. All right. You may. Okay, so first thing in the folder you guys received today, one of the items you should have is your technology login information for Blue Ridge. Um, it'll have what your new email address is for Blue Ridge and your password. How many of you, you can show this by raising your hand, have a personal email account? Excellent, I think that's everyone. What this means is you should never use your Blue Ridge email for anything that's not school or academic or project related. Don't use it to plan parties. Don't use it to talk about your teachers or other people. We can see everything you type in when you're logged in with your Blue Ridge account. I don't want to have to virtually stand over your shoulder every day. Um, the guidelines for using your Blue Ridge account one of the things you'll hear over and over again from me is academic and professional. Every chat you send, every email, every comment in a document must meet both of those requirements. This includes don't send someone 75 smiley faces. You know, use you, when you're logged in with Blue Ridge, use it for academic and professional things only. And we're all kind of laughing, but we know we've done it where we've sent people a lot of gifts or emoticons or crazy stuff. Use your personal email for that. Don't use this. Um, we do have a little more kind of big brother oversight on it than even probably your school Google Apps account. So I, I can't stress this seriously enough. Um, please don't use this account for anything that you would not want me to be standing right there and watch you do. Um, we also have it when you're logged in with our accounts, we can see all your computer activity for the previous 30 days. So just keep that in mind. You know, if, if you're having trouble in class and you want some help and we look back, you know, and for the last week you've been watching YouTube videos of SpongeBob for most of the class while your teacher was lecturing, uh, we're probably gonna have a more serious conversation than just why you're not doing well in class. Um, but, you know, that's kind of the heavy on it. We do have an acceptable use policy that you'll have to agree to. Um, but, you know, like Mr. Carraway's been talking, our school kind of exists in the cloud. How tough do you think it will be to be successful in this program if you've done something kind of boneheaded and gotten kicked off of technology? Yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to be successful. If you can't use a computer or a phone or an email account, it's going to be real tough to be successful in Blue Ridge um, because that's where we live. So just really keep this in mind. Um, what I would really like everyone to do is within 48, 72 hours, so the next two to three days, um, log into your Blue Ridge email account and email your teacher just to say, I'm in, I've got it set up, I can send email now. You don't have to constantly check it all summer. We're not going to send you a whole bunch of emails, but it'll make your first day of school a lot easier if you already know how to get into this. Um, one thing about your password, you're not allowed to change it. And I know it is kind of a tough password. Give it like three weeks and you'll have it memorized for the rest of your life. Um, the main reason we do this is because we do so many group projects. And if you're sick or out and your account is holding one of the really important pieces to your group's project and they can't do work because they can't get in, this makes it so your teacher or I, and it will it'll only be staff members, can just log in real quick to your account easily without having to change any of your settings and share that document. But just make sure you do not change your password. Don't give it out to anyone else. Um, you know, really keep it secure. 
Um, so a couple other things that have to do with like our website and where you'll find stuff. Um, we have a lot of things over here under resources on our website. The first one you'll see is the laptop loans. If you do not have a computer at home or you have to share your computer at home with siblings or parents or something like that, you can check out a laptop from us. Um, there's a form you have to fill out online and then also a paper permission slip you have to sign off on. Um, but I am happy to check out a laptop to you so that you can keep up with your work. Even if you don't have internet at home, we can um, you know, set it up so you can sync your work at the end of the school day, go home, work on stuff, and come back to school the next day and re-sync it up. Um, if you're going on a trip or something like that and you need a laptop to keep up with your work, you know, don't hesitate to contact me. We're more than happy to help you out with that. Um, we also have a tech help desk. If you are having trouble with an account or your computer, all of your Blue Ridge classes will always have a laptop cart in the classroom that is specifically for you guys. If you notice a key is missing or there's something going on with your laptop, contact me. You can use that form or you can email me directly just to say what computer it is and what's going on or your account's not letting you into something. You know, I would much rather you contact me early and often than sit there and struggle for two or three days and just get frustrated and get behind. Um, a lot of times people will send me kind of a help email and then five minutes later they'll send me another email going, oops, I fixed it. I love getting those. That makes my job a lot easier. So the minute you kind of hit a roadblock, send up a flare. Don't sit there and struggle and wait with that kind of stuff. Um, I'm more than happy to help you with it. Um, there's a bunch of other resources that I strongly suggest you guys check out just about researching and writing and the writing process and all of that on there. Um, but you can always contact me either through chat or through email um, if you have any questions about the technology. And you'll see me coming in um, when you start working on projects to help you guys with the technology aspect of it. But like I said, I'm more than happy to help. If your parents are thinking of buying you a computer, um, I can give some advice on, you know, what you might need and what you don't need uh, for Blue Ridge. I'm happy to help in all those respects. All right, so.